um, Discover Muay Thai Academy um, has been around since 2015. So in dalam 2015 tu, it was our kita punya first intake di mana ada 8 uh, selected underprivileged youth daripada seluruh Malaysia datang ke sini di Dragon Muay Thai to undergo a 4 month self development program melalui sukan Muay Thai dan juga education. So dalam masa 4 bulan tu, these boys basically dia orang kena tidur and they also do everything together and train, eat, sleep, everything together. So um, this program is, um, is, is has already um, been three years now and we are going to our third intake. So boys from various background. Ada Buddha kat sini yang homeless, um, ada yang daripada anak yatim, uh, ada yang golongan B40, ada yang um, apa tu ada yang memang daripada masalah-masalah disiplin di sekolah so that they have not had that opportunity to continue study sebab dia dah school dropouts dan juga ada stateless kids yang tak ada dokumen this batch is 2 months at the entire duration um, they have various classes pagi lepas subuh um, they will start jogging to KLCC park or sometimes they do indoor sekala hujan so that will take about um, 10 kilometers and after they jog they run can start their own morning session muay thai basic dulu and then belah tengah hari usually they will rest they will eat um, we give them food sponsored by Malaysian Food Aid Foundation yang di mana budak-budak ni akan masak sendiri so they will get chicken rice fish good balance of um, carbs protein etc so um, we will make sure that the food is here every week so dalam setiap minggu tu diorang kena ration out diorang punya food intake lah and then um, lepas lunch itu hari Isnin dan Rabu ada counsellor akan datang so sebenarnya hari ni counsellor akan datang sekejap lagi so the counsellor will come and have session with them and will do a bit of motivational and team building exercise Tuesday and Thursday ada cikgu English datang uh, cikgu English is a volunteer teacher from Seoul 24-7 uh, NGO yang buat banyak education empowerment to, to rural areas so dia orang akan belajar basic english communications some of them are illiterate susah untuk um, tulis dan bertutur uh, but we teach them basic english so that they could apply dekat mana-mana and also understand the trainers over here dan juga most of the customers who datang sini are mainly um, foreigners Belah malam pula, pukul 8 tu, they will work at the gym. So, Jalan Alo can be one of the most, um, orang panggil dangerous roads, um, tengah-tengah KL kan. So, these boys, some of them akan tukar tanggungjawab orang. Some of them do akan ready kat bawah, especially our female customers, orang akan angkat beg orang naik atas. That, that is a lot on public relations punya skills. And then, um, some of them akan berada di counter, doing admin work like, apa tu, um, sales, cold calls, getting customers in and then some of them will become co-trainers helping crew crew selatan with holding pads and then they will rotate some of them buat kebersihan, mop the floor, clean the toilets and all that so this is their duties at night because we want them to have that exposure ada yang tak ada SPM, ada yang tak sambung belajar, ada yang tak ada motivation nak belajar ada yang memang tak ada peluang nak belajar so with this skills in hopes that they can actually apply once they are done with us. So we teach them how to do gym management and it's interesting because ada budak-budak ni, as I said, yang memang grew up in their own bubble and within their own race and tak ada peluang untuk be more social to other people. So this place, this environment is will motivate them to become more socially inclusive. Yang previous intakes, um, once they complete their course, some of them we hire back. We hire them full time to work with us sebagai trainer. Siapa yang kita nampak boleh jadi atlet, we will push them um, to join competitions. And together with Majlis Sukan Negara dan Persatuan Muay Thai Malaysia, actually give them certification and grading, grading course. So after they're habis, they boleh peluang nak pergi ke sana shortcut and also learn more dekat sana untuk dapat grading and also certificate for if they want to be trainers. Uh, 
back then, um, me personally, I was working for Malaysian Youth Foundation, My Harapan. So we do a lot of uh, grassroots work dekat kawasan TPR, Sri Pantai, Kampung Limau, yang ni yang area bandar. And um, we have a huge database of budak-budak daripada that background. And some of these boys um, is, is also been recommended by Persatuan Negeri Negeri. Can we take them in? So I say yes, but then but they still have to go through a certain um, criteria lah to fit the bill to join to join us. That was first batch. But then yeah lah, after first batch, um, media comes, um, a lot of reports, social media, orang dah nampak. So bila orang dah nampak, we got a lot of um, orang panggil uh, people want to send people they know. <laughs> so like for this intake, eh, sorry for the previous intake. I got a call from uh, satu pak cik ni dekat Kedah. Dia cakap boleh tak kita, saya nak hantar anak buah saya datang ke KL. But then I already have about 100 plus applicants. So dia cakap he will take the first bus in the morning to come to KL to Kudu and he will take a, a car so that the boy can attend the interview. Um, unfortunately dia tak dapat. You know, but bukan kita tak nak ambil. But our capacity can only fit this much. Tempat ni tak adalah besar sangat. Um, yeah, bit later I can show you can only fit um, about eight to twelve people inside the their dorm. Um, also, the more people we have, the more money is being used. And kita as a social enterprise and doing out of our hearts and apa tu, abilities to do everything, there's only so much that we can do pun. So eight is for now the number that we have. But we have four kids outside who comes on a weekly basis daripada Chow Kid. Those are stateless kids. So yang tu in, in hopes to increase the number. But honestly, I, 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 don't, I don't actually believe that um, numbers like you ramai or like you're doing, you're, doing, you're doing so much better ramai. I feel that even if it, if it impact one of them, they could one day go back to their kampung and they will actually be a good example or role model to the community. Like one thing that I want the boys to get when they get Muay Thai ni, is it encompasses three, three aspects. Physical, mental and the moral or spiritual aspect. When it comes to physical, I hope lah. I hope that they become stronger. Um, they can release um, all the negative energy that they have because some of them are gang members into somewhere positive. And instead of creating trouble outside, let it all out at the back or in Muay Thai. In terms of spiritual or moral, the kat sini kita pupukkan um, a lot of um, religion classes. So apa tu, we have uh, we work together with the office of Mufti Kuala Lumpur, Dr. Zul. Um, they have their surah at the back there. Um, so if, if you have these three aspects, it'd be nice. You know? But that's something that we work on every day. So daripada situ, bit by bit, um, rather than becoming lost kids or lost men at the streets, they become gentlemen. So every time, budak-budak batch 1, batch 2, after they dah graduate pun, they will st some of them do get in trouble. But they will call the teachers, the abang-abang dekat sini, and they will discuss what should I do, you know. Because dekat sini, now they have another family. And a safe environment, and a family where we'll be there for them. So instead of joining gangs, they will talk dengan abang-abang orang yang dekat sini that do sports, and most of them are champions. So they have the mindset of a champion. So that is actually the the little bit of actions that is extremely important here at Discover Monta. So, rather than doing a charity, we balance it out. Social impact and business. So at the start, when we do batch one and batch two, I, I had to take so much, so many risks in terms of my own financial, um, in terms of support, it was difficult. Orang semua macam benda kau nak buat ni semua benda and you, and you quit your white collar job for, for this to live at Jalan Alo, predominantly um, ghetto place, you know. So um, people started to wondering why I do this. But slowly, you know, slowly lepas first batch tu orang nampak. Slowly bila orang nampak that we discover Muay Thai, we actually have a gym in Kuchong. And most of the boys and graduate akan pergi kat sana untuk bekerja dengan kita. So we don't nampak that, you know, in Malaysia, if we want to do something good and something more sustainable, it has to be through social business. 
rather than a one-off charity tanam pokok, posing and go back. Rather than a one-off competition tournament futsal dekat PPR, balik. It's not sustainable. So, slowly lah, we try to be the pioneer in sport social business in Malaysia. So, the result is now dah nak masuk fourth batch lah. Most of my time bila academy, I drop off everything, all the all the privilege you call, the nice beds, the air condition, the hot shower, for this, but I'm not regretting it. <laughs> Saya asal daripada Selangor, duduk dekat Kelang, Meru. So, sekolah dulu dekat uh, SMK Meru lah. Umur saya sekarang 15. Saya join sebab saya dah tak sekolah, tak buat apa-apa lah. So, saya join ada satu impian lah. So, saya join sini. Sekarang ni dalam belajar matai, uh, disiplin, respect, honor lah. Tiga benda. Boleh lah. Boleh tahan dia lah. Kawan-kawan pun okey. Cikgu-cikgu semua okey. Tak ada masalah. Uh, nama saya Muhammad Irwan bin Nur Rashid. Uh, umur 20 tahun. Uh, asal dari Perak. Tinggal pun dekat Perak, Teluk Intan. Join program ni sebab punya peluang yang yang cerah untuk saya lah. Sebelum ni tak buat apa. 20. Belajar disiplin, respect, honor kelas-kelas asas asas Inggeris ha. berkomunikasi ha. nak teruskan dengan ni lah ha, Muay Thai bila dah habis